All right. When last we left my friendly neighborhood, we found the penthouse, which is made out of cardboard. And there's a crazy piano muppet. And there are so many puzzles. Um, we got this cardboard key and this cardboard soda. I'm scared of the cardboard soda. It didn't give us any information about it. And of course my controller is back to being an absolute fucking hair trigger. Like we were in here. Sometimes we would swap our arms, then we would swap our legs one by one, each piece was swapped, and then we were back to normal. <laughs> That's what friends are for. They give you new fingers to you. <laughs> Easy. <clears throat> okay. So let's go try our new key on everything else. These puzzle pieces seem like a big deal. Hey, and we got a puzzle piece. As I'm concerned, we're doing, done with room one. And as far as I'm concerned, I believe we are done with the kitchen. <laughs> Except for the chocolate that was in the trash. For now. about him. I Sean the non-believer! Sean! Sean! Yeah. I'm not non-believing. I was just stating things that I do believe. Doing so good. Huh. This is so weird. Where are 
my socks. Fish, 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 fish. To do, find my cat. Hi, how are you? Sounded like that came from the other room. Yeah, but what room? Was it in the kitchen? It sounded like it came from that way. Here, mommy must be proud. Must have been that room that I just picked the stuff up from. It does sound like Otis. Sometimes we would swap our arms. Then we would swap our legs. One by one. I feel like, I feel like I can find something in the computer to open this. I can't believe I'm calling it a computer. That was that. That motherfucker is gonna be moving at some point, and it's gonna freak me out. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, 
Get off of me! Shit! I'm gonna judge that. Kick them all around. You know, if you get permission from your parents, you can run up and down the street. Make sure to greet every neighbor as you go by. Then, since you're far away from home, your parents' wishes to go unheeded. Okay. This is clear. Now do anything you like. One more piece. I'm so nervous about what's going to happen with him. I'm still not sure where that first thing opened up at. Look in here with it closed. See, I don't recognize that screwy painting. Okay. Whew, I thought he was stopping. Him stopping playing scares me so much more than his maniacal playing. that in here either. I guess I'm just going to leave it open for when I do come across it. I don't know what to do. Should I try shooting him?
Okay, he doesn't seem to be affected by bullets. Cardboard out here too. No. It's so normal out here. Don't worry about it, man. I'll either figure it out or I won't. This is the other place that opened. Oh. No! Shit. Stupid. I don't feel that morning. This. Secret tunnel, secret tunnel, around the penthouse, secret, 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 secret tunnel. I'm scared. I want to be full health. Aha. I misjudged where that door was on the map. I feel like I'm going to be in and out of this room for a while, so y'all all get taped. Or, I wasted all my tape because I will not be doing anything in here other than getting by y'all. All the very creepy. to push these buttons in the order that they were in that book. Is this a zoo? A puppet winter song, the eighth film in the My Friendly Neighborhood franchise, opened over the holiday weekend to an underwhelming $1.4 million box off, signaling that the film will fall far short of recovering its $25 million budget. It. 
I hate y'all. I could have probably used the wrench, but... At least we got this taken care of now. All right, let's go try to memorize this book. Shapes. Dog. Flag. No, let's go. Shapes. Dog. Quilt. Dots. Fruit. Would anybody be able to type this in chat for me? Shapes. Dog. Quilt. Dots. Fruit. Fantastic. God, he's a fucking musical prodigy. Back to the secret tunnel, secret tunnel, around the penthouse, through the walls, it's a secret, 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 secret tunnel. Shapes doll quilt dots fruit. I'm glad I taped all y'all up. <laughs> Okay. Shapes. Dog. Quilt. Dots. Fruit. It's our last puzzle piece. I think this is one way. Corey, you're the goat. Will you start this boss fight? And I'm gonna save. Cause I'm about to have to maybe do a boss fight. What's up, bud? You're doing such a good job. I'm very scared. Can I still just if grab this? If you didn't stop switch? banging on the piano like that, my ears were gonna start bleeding. Play duet. Uh, no. Play duet. I'd do I it. I can't read music. <laughs> Get off me, you. Oh, <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Uh, um. Yamahi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's all right. I was afraid for nothing. Great. Sounds good, buddy. 
I'm gonna go now. Okay. Thank you. Oh my god. We're taking him with us. Bye, bud. Bye, Arnold. Mr. Gerswald, we are writing to inform you that effective immediately, the mass show My Friendly Neighborhood has been cancelled and all production company MFN Studios have been dissolved. All assets and equipment, including puppets, performers, and the studio lot, remain the property of the City Network Broadcasting Group. All employees have until close of business on Friday, July 22nd to vacate the premises. Respectfully, Lawrence Black Soul. Aha, Black Soul. Vice President of Programming, City Group Broadcasting. Fine. I guess I'll go out and do it myself. Uh oh, y'all, I'm so nervous. Brand new mechanic. This is it, boys. We've come a long way. We failed, and we failed, and we failed again. My friendly neighborhood is my Dark Souls. But it feels like we're wrapping it up. Oh, goodness. Did I even bring any tools? Ah oh shit, it's the wrong type of screwdriver. Gordon, you don't have to do this. Yes, I do, I Ricky. It's my Ricky. job. Gonna hurt kids. Hurt them? Gordon, we want to help them. They need us. You need us. Why? For what? For what? Gordon, look at this city. The buildings are dark and the streets are empty. No one knows how to be a friendly neighbor. It's a city of shuttered up hearts and they need someone to let in the light. Ricky's got some points. I don't think that's you, Ricky. You know why I think we got canceled? Why? Because people like darkness more than light. Why would they do that? Maybe it makes them uncomfy because it shows how messed up they are. What are you talking about, Ricky? I'm talking about our show, Gordon. We show them how to be friendly and they hate that because they're not friendly. 
I don't think that's the problem. No, it makes sense. Really? Are you sure about that, Gordon? Do you really think the city network suits I'm care about anything Ricky's, except their bank Ricky's account? Do you really think people won't take any excuse to ignore their own issues? Come on, Gordon. We both know deep down you want to be friendly. Sorry. What the? F I fell off. Oh. Okay. Ricky seemed well, generally I... concerned. Generally, general, genuinely concerned about us. There's a telephone booth. I'm gonna call my nephew at the gas station that he bought recently. Look up, look up, look up. Can't get in there. No. <laughs> What's in here? Yeah, crossover event of the century. Do I press the elevator button or I go down the dark, scary hallway? Driven by a restless spirit, I go up on the roof, and there, above the wreckage of the city, I see the stars. Pure and beautiful and very close. Something about them stirs a vague memory in me, like I'm looking into a wondrous other world I've forgotten. And as I stare, I suddenly hear something speak to me. Something that says, I am with you. Someone who can reach down, pull me out of the pit, and bring me home. Can't go in there. It's so dark I'll probably trip over a stage light. Well, that answers my question. <laughs> Ricky, is that Gordon? you? Ricky, I'm here. Oh, Gordon, thank goodness. So, what are they? Bad puppets? Oh, Gordon, I really hoped you wouldn't find out. It's so embarrassing. But we were all curious. What do you mean? We wanted to know what other shows had that we didn't. We'd never been allowed to watch television before, but after we got canceled, no one was around to stop us. Okay. So we turned on one of the old sets, expecting to see something amazing. But it wasn't amazing. It was... mean. Mm. It felt like we were dying, Gordon. We all got a little twisted then, but some of us... Great. Then how do I get out of here? Well, there's... Uh, there, there's an elevator somewhere. Uh, should be at the end of that hall? It said it's locked down. Oh, that means you'll have to pull the security release. That's on the other side of their stage. Their oh, stage. Of course it is. If I ever get out of here, I'm gonna make you into a hat, Ricky. Oh, I believe in you, Gordon. Just do your wham blam fight the puppets thing. Give them the old ABC one, two, three. Thanks for the encouragement. I feel like these grenades will come in handy.
unfriendly neighborhood. Unfriendly neighborhood. Oh, fuck. What's <laughs> there going to be, big evil bird? I thought I was holding a shotgun. Hello? I wonder if I can skip this. Hello? I can. Okay. Nah. Unfriendly neighborhood. Unfriendly neighborhood. Alright, they're gonna bust down and come from that direction. I do not want to be stuck out of the barrel again. <laughs> Shit, I fell off the ranch. I'm stuck. They can't be killed. These motherfuckers are invincible. You think he lied about believing in me? Or where the switch is. Hello? Hello? Oh, fuck. I'm gonna go ahead and resave at this point. The grenade did slow them though, and I just need to keep unfriendly moving. neighborhood. Please, please, please. I'm 
that I didn't bring any healing. I'll try the elevator again after I heal and save. Oh my god. Chocolate doesn't heal. Chocolate makes me move faster. But getting the chocolate, I'd have to do it in advance. It's kind of a, a bullshit item. That wasn't the switch. That wasn't the switch that I needed. can't go back in here. Oh my god, I just... Oh! Dear children, I'm sorry to announce that this will be our final episode. I wanted to take a moment to address you personally so that you may have a final lesson to remember after we're gone. Our world can be hard and scary. It can sometimes be difficult to know what's right and wrong because the world is broken and we're broken too. Our hearts are hollow and dark, unfriendly. And there is nothing in this world that can fix us. No beauty, no power, no food, no fame. What we need is for a light beyond our world. <clears throat> the light that is also love. To reach down and seize our hearts and bring us back to itself. In our show, we've tried to give you a glimpse of that light. So the message I want to leave with you is this. Have faith in the light. Sometimes it may be scary. Sometimes it may hurt. Sometimes it's hard to know what's right and wrong because good and bad are all jumbled up and confusing. And when that happens, it can hurt a lot. But have faith in the light, because the light will rescue you from the darkness. I don't know why I decided that was the voice of the producer who wrote this. <coughs> but it hurt my throat a little bit. I was a bit dry. Cheat tape. I keep expecting this game to be over. But what about these? I only found one of these masks. Outside's clear. <clears throat> There's that one thing that I couldn't find in the sewers. 
All of the office building is clear. Old dude's room isn't clear. I don't have the combination to that safe. Ricky, you in here, you motherfucker? I unplugged the tower. I could probably leave. But it feels incomplete. Incomplete. Defeat the boss and escape the unfriendly neighborhood. I'm leaving. Yes, you should. Job well done, Gordon. Turned off our antenna and survived the unfriendly neighborhood. You're a handy man extraordinaire. Don't mock me, Ricky. Mock you? I would never. Oh, before you go, I was wondering if you'd do us a favor. Oh? <laughs> You've been hanging around the studio. You know a little bit about our show. Spit it out, Ricky. I was wondering if you'd help run our studio. What? See, everything's really old and falling apart. Really beyond our ability to care for. And on the personal side, I think it's obvious that we need a bit of a guiding hand. Are you kidding? Gordon, do I look like a sock that would kid? Yes. Ricky. I'm just a maintenance man. I don't know how to run a studio. Oh, I think you can handle it. It can't be that hard. What if you end up like them? I don't think we're the ones you should be worried about, Gordon. Come on. Won't you be our neighbor? He said the line. Oh my God, what do I do, y'all? No seems to be in character. I'm not a big fan of them right now. They've been trying to kill me for the last 24 hours. Yep, yeah, fuck these puppets, man. Fine. We'll give it a shot. Whoa, Gordon! Oh, I'm I thought so I clicked no. Glad we will have such fun! I'm not living here, though. Well, we'll talk about that. Oh, Gordon, thank you. Thank you for being our friend. I am bursting at the seams. I must go tell the others at once. Tomorrow night, then? Uh, no, 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 it's no. It's decided. Tomorrow night. See you later, Gordon. Arrivederci. Toodaloo. 23 skidoo. Ciao. Well, Brian, what have you done this time? I helped the neighbors get a slot on public access TV. It was late night on weekdays, I don't think anyone watched it. Within a couple of weeks though, word was starting to get out. Some people loved the show, some people hated it. That caught the network's attention. And by the end of the year, we had three channels wanting to sign for a whole season. At that point, I figured I had done my part. So I stopped showing up at the studio in the evenings. I don't know. Mm. I guess I just wanted to keep my head down. I never told anyone I was helping bring back the show. But for some reason, it keeps bugging me. I can't forget about it. And some nights, I catch myself staring out the window. Wondering what's happening in the neighborhood.
pretty good. I ended early. Can we uh, go back to the beginning? No, Norman. No, we can't.